Hi everybody. Um, how are you today? It's, uh, I'm not sure the day. Oh yeah, it's Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday, December 13th. And I went to see my uh, doctor about the radiation. I met with Dr. Heppel today and so I thought I'd fill you in because I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I've just been trying to take it easy and get ready for the radiation. So, um, here's the lowdown. I went today and I met with the doctor. Uh, the nurse explained what was going to be happening and, uh, you know, we talked about possible side effects and all of that. Um, and then I was measured. I went into, they took some CAT scans and um, you have to be in the same position every time. So when they got me in the position that they wanted, they gave me two permanent little markers. So I got my first tattoos today. Nothing special, two little dots, but I've got my first tattoos. Hi, Dee. Hi, Corey. Hi, Brenda. Um, so those are permanent, so I'll always remember that. And, uh, you know, you have to be in a certain position. And they explained um, the good thing is this is the right side not the left side where the heart is, so that's a very good thing. Then they explained there's always that possibility they try not to get your lung. Sometimes there's a little part that gets zapped with the radiation, but um, they said that that's... Uh, the nurse that I spoke with has never had that experience with any of the patients, so that's a good sign because you could get the pneumonia. Um, and then, of course, she went over, um, you know, and talked about the ointment, and she said if I could start using it sooner, hopefully that would cut down on the um, skin irritation. She said for sure there will be skin irritations, there could be blistering, which we've talked about, uh, sunburn, um, tenderness, there could be itching. So <clears throat> that's all a possibility, so I will be taking care of that. Uh, and... Um, so I go back next Tuesday on the 20th, I believe Tuesday's the 20th, whatever it is, it's the 20th. I go back and we'll do a dry run. So we'll go through the whole thing as if they were going to give me the radiation, just to make sure they have all the specific sites and, you know, I'm in the right spot and position and all of that. And then if all goes well and they don't have to make any changes, then we start the next day. Um, I mean... If I hadn't already been put back with the infection, you know, maybe I could have waited till after Christmas, but because I've waited, because I've had to wait so long, um, he was, you know, adamant as well. We're going to start it right away. So um, I'll be starting, if all goes well, I'll be starting it next week on the 21st. Thanks, Delita. I appreciate it. Um, so that's my news. Um... By the way, the tattoos didn't hurt. It was like a little skin prick. Um, they said to expect me being tired um, definitely after the first week, second week. You know, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. So we'll take it from there. And um, I have to go every day at the same time. That would be the best thing to do. So I'm praying for uh, not much snow during this time. And hopefully I can get in the time that I would like. And uh, that's kind of it. I meet with the doctor once a week. He meets with all the patients once a week just to keep an eye on things. And um, I still have some pinkness where the cellulitis was from the infection. So we have to keep an eye on that and let them know if anything changes. The good news is I don't have any dietary restrictions. Um, oh, and I can use deodorant when I go for treatments, which is nice. The only thing is I can't. Uh, put it on within four hours, four hours before the treatment. So if I can get in at one o'clock, I can put it on when I get up in the morning and shower. So, right, no snow, Corey. That's right. That's what's well, going to snow tomorrow, but I'm not starting treatment yet. So that's a good thing. So I just wanted to fill you in. Um, everybody was nice and wonderful. You know, it was in a different building, a different team, even though they're part of the same team. It's a different team now. It's like the next the next phase and um, I did get a little teary eyed when I was going into the CAT scan machine <laughs> a very strong Italian tattoo well 
two little dots. I don't know, nothing cool, but um, I imagine they didn't hurt like real ones do. So um, I've got them. So now I'm officially tattooed. Um, and he was cute, by the way. Can I just say he was a cutie patootie? His name was Ryan. Um, and uh, so that's kind of it. That's, I think that's it. I mean, I'm sure there's more that I'm forgetting. But I just wanted to fill you in and let you know. And thank you again for being there with me. Um, in fact, it's funny. I met another friend that I hadn't seen in a while um, who works at the hospital. So she said, oh, stop by and visit after treatment next week. So that was pretty funny. Um and uh oh the whole thing every day should take about a half an hour the treatment itself should only take about 10 minutes the longest so i should be there um 10 minutes to change and get in 10 minutes for the treatment and then probably 10 minutes to change and get out so hopefully i know ryan right he was a cutie patootie um thanks d um yeah cory he was cutie patootie so um so that should, the hopefully the whole process will take a half an hour and, you know, travel time to and from the hospital. So it's at the APC building, but the cancer center, there's a separate entrance and it's down in the basement for that. So, um, oh, and I won't be radioactive or any of that. Um, and that's kind of it that I can think of. So if there's anything else, of course, I'll be back to let you know and fill you in. Um... I do recommend, if any of you are going through this right now, watching this, and I hope to have this on YouTube, so I hope this helps someone down the road. This is the next part after the surgery. I did not have to have chemo. I'm speaking to you in the future now. Um, I didn't have to have chemo, but this is what it's like going in for this type of cancer for that radiation. So it's every day. Um, six and a half weeks, it could be three and a half weeks. We don't know yet, so there may be more good news. Um, he'll, they'll let me know after they take the measurements and there's a whole planning team that goes over my case and then they'll determine whether it's three and a half or six and a half. So fingers crossed and prayers. Hi, Betty. Um, so I'll, I'll keep you all informed. And again, thank you for those of you who've helped out in the GoFundMe. I appreciate it. And I certainly ask if there's anything that you could do, please send it all, all any amount is appreciated right now. I know times are tough and everybody's getting ready for the holidays, but uh, I appreciate it, and I'll put the link again. Um, and that's kind of it. I, I, I love you too, Betty. I love you guys, and uh, I'll keep you informed. And if there's anything, if there are any questions that you have for me, please let me know, okay? Um, and uh, for for my uh, clients will be seeing this I'll be sending this this you should be seeing this in an email and there'll be more information for you regarding other things so thank you Stella I appreciate that I'm trying I'm trying I'm doing so it felt good to be there and know where I'm going to be um, it took some of the stress and the anxiety away and just having a date because not knowing I'll tell you I've been battling some depression and some fear and some anxiety um, and mortality you know you think a lot about mortality and um, even though I know I'm going to be fine it's just you know what happened to get to this point you know especially with the diabetes the high blood pressure you know some certain major life changes are happening so anyway I appreciate you all and love you sending you big hugs and thank you alright we'll I'll talk to you soon. Have a good night. And uh, if you're going to be out and you're in the area in, in southern New England tomorrow, stay safe. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Let me find the button again to shut this off. Thanks, Betty. It is. Take care, guys. And thank you again. We'll talk soon.